how do you turn a fox into your personal chef? What secret lies at the bottom of trail ruins? Why is it possible to use a feather as a hat? I'm about to show you some interesting things about Minecraft, but... And it's a big butt. I've hidden three fake facts into the mix. It's your job to guess which. And there's a hint at the end. You could turn a fox into a chef. Foxes will pick up items in their mouth. That thing right there. But did you know that you can actually use that item in some cases? By giving it a sword with the fire aspect enchantment, it will actually cook your chickens for you. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, by the way, have you seen the monstrosity that was the early version of the fox? When foxes were being added into Minecraft, a glitch occurred and they looked like boxes. I know it's Minecraft, but this was a little too boxy. <laughs> the developers felt the same way. That's why the fox looks like a fox today. Some armor trims actually make your armor better. <laughs> Which and how? Adding a Heart of the Sea to your Tide armor trim gives you a water breathing buff when the armor is worn. This is the only armor trim that actually improves your armor, and it can sit on top of any enchantments that you might have on your armor already. You can find the Heart of the Sea by using a treasure map to hunt down buried treasure. The effect is the exact same one you get when you equip a turtle shell. You can wear a feather as a helmet. This isn't a survival thing, sadly. But if you're up for a little bit of command trickery, you can actually put a feather in your helmet slot. What's cool about this is that the game actually treats this feather in a really special way. It's rotated so it stands upright, and it's moved back behind the player's head. This way, it looks like you've attached the feather in a cool, traditional way. Ah oh man, if only we could color the feathers and then equip them in survival. Come on, Mojang, please, fix this one. Cherry leaves count as flowers. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, thanks for asking. It means that bees will actually use the cherry leaves blocks as any other flower. It can be used to pollinate crops and so on. Oh, and uh, fun fact. During early development of the cherry grove biome, the developers used the pig's texture as a placeholder for the leaves. Oh man, <laughs> to imagine that must have looked way better than what we had now. <sighs> Absolutely magnificent. Cake and note blocks can play a special birthday tune. Now wouldn't that be a neat way to celebrate a birthday in Minecraft? Piglin heads make the note block oink, creeper heads make it hiss, but how about cake? <laughs> wow, would you look at that? It's playing happy birthday. This was added in 2019 as part of Minecraft's 10 year birthday. This feature might have actually inspired the addition of mob sounds from note blocks that were added a few years later. There are 194,481 different decorated pot combinations. For each of the four sides of the pot, you can use one of 21 different patterns. That's a lot of combinations. Have you seen all the different patterns? <laughs> They're beautifully designed. Much better than the developer preview we saw way back before the 1.20 update. Each of them also have names, which actually might give us some new insights into the lore of the game. We have the brick decorated pot, angler, archer, arms up, blade, brewer, burn, danger, explorer, friend, heart, heartbreak, howl, miner, mourner, plenty, prize, sheaf, shelter, skull, and snort. I found it a little interesting that the one depicting a warden is called the mourner pattern. In case you don't know, a mourner is someone who feels sorrow, usually for the death of someone else. Does that mean the warden is just sad? <laughs> it usually feels a bit more mad than sad to me. Guests can ride minecarts. Okay, pause for a moment and picture that. A gigantic, levitating, eight-legged ghost crammed into a tiny minecart. But hey, Minecraft physics is a bit uh, unique. Let's try it. There you go. Oh, it looks as ridiculous as it sounds, and probably also as close to useless as it sounds. Hoglins both love and hate mushrooms. Which sounds weird, right? I mean, last I checked, these weird-looking pigs dine on weird-looking mushrooms. It's like me, being scared of unsubscribed viewers. So, let's see if we can spook them. As you can see, these hogs are very picky with their mushrooms. <laughs> they are straight up scared of warped fungi. But look what happens when you give one a crimson mushroom. Oh, that guy loves it. Bamboo can be used as fuel in a furnace. It grows incredibly quickly, so it would be a great source of fuel if this is true. Let's test it out. It works! However, it also burns extremely quickly, meaning you need a lot of bamboo to smelt your items. In fact, to smelt a single item, you're going to need four pieces of bamboo. Bamboo farming is definitely needed for it to be a viable long-term option, but it's good to know it's there if you're in a pinch. Camels can walk over fences. Now, fences are there to keep animals in, right? I mean, horses, mules, cows, they all stay put. So why would a camel be any different? Camels actually have such incredibly long, beautiful legs that walking over 1.5 block tall structures is no problem at all. Yahoo! Trail ruins contain remnants of wither summon statues. 
Trail ruins are the buried archaeological structures that you can find in heavily forested biomes. Getting in can be quite dangerous, though. It looks like the devs just kind of used every block they had in here, with blocks scattered everywhere. According to the Minecraft Wikipedia, it's meant to look like old village ruins from an ancient civilization, but it just kind of looks like a builder intern at Mochang accidentally tripped, fell, and landed on the keyboard, and then they just shipped it in the game. The ruins contain lots of suspicious gravel and sand, but do they contain a lesser known secret hidden door down there that is a lot more suspicious? It does, and it's usually one you'll find at the very bottom of the ruins. Destroying a bell will make the village leader furious. As you might know, the bell can be rung to make all the villagers in a town return to their homes, even when there's no raid happening. But did you know that the bell was actually created to be at the center of the village? When you place a bell near a claimed bed, it'll be claimed by a villager and become part of the village. If you then destroy the bell, the village leader will actually get angry with you, as you can see. You can repair iron golems. This one might not be news to a lot of you, but I see a lot of players that actually aren't aware of this, so I decided to include it. Let's give this fellow a few scratches, and let's do it in the satisfying way. Okay, maybe a little less satisfying. Okay, here we go, and... Voila! The Iron Golem is one of the few mobs that actually show its health visually, so it's very clear that it's being healed up. Mojang uses child labor as part of development. You know the hanging signs we got in the 1.20 update? Have you used them? Yeah, you're actively supporting child labor in Sweden. You should take a long, hard look in the mirror. The first concept sketches of the hanging sign was actually drawn by Agnes Larson's daughter. You can see the drawing here. Absolutely disgusting practice, if you ask me. They should all be in jail. <laughs> all jokes aside, I really do love the hanging sign. Did you know that the chains change shape depending on where you hang it from? Hanging it from another chain block looks different than hanging it on a solid block, for example. Goats can drop horns when they charge into trees. You might have known this one already, but there are some details here you might not. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's try that again. Okay, here it comes, and <laughs> wham! It's actually only certain blocks that make the horn snap off, though. These include stone, coal ore, copper ore, iron ore, emerald ore, logs, and pack dice. Did you find the three faked facts? Here's a hint. In the filming of each faked fact, we hit a string item somewhere in the background. 